Hi friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's plan kind of changed a little bit on me. I was originally thinking I'm gonna get groceries, do a ton of cooking and baking today. Went to look at my app on my phone for grocery pickup, realized that my grocery pickup is not until tomorrow. So we're gonna have to make do with the food that we have for one more day, which is no big deal. I have tons of food in the freezer. So anyways, the whole reason I tell you this is kind of my day changed a little bit. Now, of course, we still have to do some schooling, but we've done a really good job of kind of getting ahead a little bit this week so that we can kind of coast into the weekend for Easter. So today I actually want to tackle my to-do list. I've been kind of keeping a small list throughout the week of just different things that I would love to get accomplished around the house. So I thought I would share all those with you in today's video, maybe give you a little bit of motivation or some different ideas as to what you can do to occupy some of your time at home. But I have a little list here. We are going to be trying to make some bread. I thought I've been wanting to do this forever. I've never made bread from scratch. I will buy frozen bread loaves and let it rise. I will buy loaves of bread, but I've never made bread. So I definitely want to give that a whirl today. I also want to rotate toys. Uh, we just spend all of our time on the main floor. So I just want to take the toys that we have up here and rotate those with some that are down in the basement that don't get played with very much. It's going to feel like a whole new toy for the kids. So that's on the list and I can actually have them help me with that. Another thing I want to do is clean my steps. So we have carpeted steps going on the upstairs or going upstairs. I actually want to vacuum and shampoo them. I don't know if I've ever shampooed our steps. And you know what? It's one of those things. I've been wanting to do, get it done. So we're going to get that done today. Taking down the sconces in my bedroom is another thing I'm going to try. I actually have an idea. I think I want to try adding a garland in there and taking down the sconces. And so we'll try that today. And then also I'm going to have Macy help me during nap time, we'll put together a fun Easter tablescape, something to make this weekend just special for the kids as we are at home. And so we're gonna do that all in today's video. It's almost too quiet in here. I'm going to have to go check on the kids. I know they're fine upstairs. I actually gave them a drum. They're upstairs banging it. You might be able to hear it. But anyways, I thought I would get started with the bread because I know that's going to need some time just to rise. But I've really gone back to using cookbooks. Cookbooks a lot more over Googling and searching online. Of course, you can still find good recipes out there, but I've really enjoyed just kind of trying new recipes out of cookbooks that I already own. So this Joy of Cooking one, I can link it below. I've used it a few times. I've made like a meatloaf that was really good. And I can't remember the other thing, but now I'm gonna try their bread recipe. It looks very basic, everything I have on hand. So that's good. The main ingredient you need is just yeast, which we've had on hand, so that's good. I don't know how hard it is to find right now, but I'm glad that we have that. So I'm just going to get started on the bread first. Baby, it's now. Gotta leave this town and I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more Cause for as long as I remember It's been Now I'm just going to add in these ingredients and I think that's the toughest part.
This needs to sit for just a little bit and then I will come back to that. So I'm just going to clean up my mess and we can move on to some toy rotating. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away just for one night as you know, this is like a combined office, play space, just kind of hangout place for our family. But I do store quite a bit of toys in here as well. So in the closet by the front door, we have games and like building toys like Legos and blocks and some Hot Wheels stuff. That stuff we use every single day. I'm not going to be rotating that, especially now we play board games every day. But I really want to focus on this little three-tier stand here. Maybe do like some cars and trucks and stuff like that for the twins. And then this area right here is the other space. So basically in these cupboards, I'm going to rotate everything. So I'm just going to pull it all out, bring it downstairs, and try to just bring some new things to keep their interest in here. And then same thing with that basket. This is something that will also keep the kids busy. I feel like I'm constantly trying to come up with new things to entertain them. So this is another one of those things. But total side note, I'm just looking outside. It is snowing again! What in the world? Like it's not, it's just like little snowflakes falling down, but it's like we were just outside with no jacks on, pulling out patio furniture. Now it's snowing again. Oh my gosh. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side Something I've learned is that we rarely read books down here. It's always at nap time or bedtime. So I'm just going to bring all of these books up to their room and then maybe we'll just do a few books in this little thing right yeah, here instead. Toys. Yeah, it feels like we have new toys, doesn't it? to go in a bowl that is oil. I'm just going to coat it in oil and it has to sit for another hour. Maybe. There we go. Have it resting back there. So now back to toy rotating. thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town And I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more
I think our toy rotating has come to an end. This is the cleanest I think it'll be. We found some new toys. Well, no, they're not new. But re-interested in toys, so that's good. You got them for your birthday? No. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, Christmas? Maybe I did on Christmas. They're like magnetic trucks. Can you show me how they work? They come in all these pieces. They can create their own trucks. Can you take one apart and show me? No. Take a different one and show me, Andrew. Take it apart. Yeah, so they can. Oh, sorry. We'll put them back. I'm just showing them how it works. Little magnetic things. They can build their own. The boys have destroyed the living room, so that's what's going on over there if you hear them. But Madden brought up their basketball hoop to play there, which works because no one's coming in our front door anyways right now. And then I brought up these two toys that don't really get a lot of love in the basement, and I've just been going back and forth if we need to keep them or get rid of them. So I'm just going to see over the weekend if they play with them. If they don't, I'll probably just move them to back downstairs for now. I've toyed with the idea of bringing up the teepee again. Let me know if you remember our red striped teepee that used to be in here. So that may come in here, but my whole weekend project, I'm actually going to give this chalkboard wall a fresh coat of the same paint, the black chalkboard paint. It's just, it's been nicked up over the years that we've had it this way and it just could use a fresh coat. So that's one of my projects on the list for this weekend, which I'll probably share in a vlog. So more to come on this whole space. But over here, I just did like some trucks, cars, balls, which when you have boys are inevitable. Um, over here, stuffed animals. This basket I actually left empty, just we could throw toys in that kind of end up up here. This is my random decor drawer, like little things that I fill in places, tiered tray stuff, so that's my drawer. But as far as toys go, we did like a whole car parking garage area. This is more like educational puzzles, a few books, just the books that have sounds that can't go in their rooms. Um, some of their letters. Little computers, the frogs. There's the octopus back there. And then over here, I just put some like bigger toys, like our drum with musical instruments, our bristle blocks, and I, I don't even know what is in that random little toys that they can play with. My bread just beeped, so now it's time to actually put it in the loaf pans and let it rise, I think, even longer. I'm not sure, I'll have to look at the recipe. So I'm going to go do that. I just went upstairs and checked on Macy because I hadn't seen her. She's kind of having like a Google Hangout play date, if <laughs> that's possible. So she has her iPad propped up and she has one of her friends on there while she's playing American Girl. So the things we do, but it was really cute. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me That wants to say no Bread is in the oven, so it goes in for 10 minutes on 450, then it goes for 30 minutes at 350, so I'll just keep watching that. But I had a special package come, I'm so excited. I actually pre-ordered this with a gift card, and so this is the version or volume two. I love her first one, so I absolutely wanted to get this one. So this will be fun, it's like the perfect timing. All we can really do lately is bake, cook, try new recipes so it's perfect so I'm excited I'll probably page through this later today it will like stop snowing and then it starts back up it's just the craziest thing <laughs> but anyways I'm just about to put the boys down for their nap and then I'll move on I still have three things on my list that I want to get done shampooing the carpet steps will have to wait though till after nap because it's right by their bedroom and that would be totally distracting to them so that's going to be last on my list I'm gonna break up some of the 
cleaning and baking with some decorating, which is one of my favorite things to do. So we'll head up to our master bedroom after I put the boys to nap, take down the sconces above the bed, see how that all looks. Then we're gonna come down here to our kitchen table and Macy's going to help me with a little bit of an Easter table skate. Something's broken and I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Without me mm -hmm. I have tried Oh, I have tried, yeah, to become better But I thought again if I said it, it'll last forever I took my dough bowl down to give us our school station And so I have this garland now that I wasn't using So I thought, you know, just to add just a little bit more Because it's still kind of just, it needs something else I thought I might just try draping it around and see if I like it I can always take it down, but Part of the fun of being at home is just kind of playing around with different things that you have and trying them in new spaces. And I'm the reason it's not that easy. No, when you'll do better without me. Without me. Without me. Oh, oh, oh. Out of all my mistakes. One thing we do have right now is a lot of time, so I'll just live with it for a few days and see what I think of it. That's kind of one of my tips is if you aren't sure, just live with it for a few days. My timer just went off on my bread. It looks like bread. I don't know how it tastes. And then I just take like a stick of butter and run it over the top of the loaves here. If you give me one more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want you to know. I've made my way into the kitchen now. The next thing I wanted to work on was putting together a really cute Easter tablescape. So it's just going to be S6. Typically we do host Easter, and so we are very sad about that, that we can't have all of our family here, but I still want to make it special for the kids. So, and my husband, of course. So I gotta pull a bunch of things from our house. Though I think the only thing new were those plates over there. I had already gotten a couple that I used in my display and I just decided to get a total of six. So we had a bunch for our family. I think they're like 250 right now. So they're not a bad price. But anyways, just kind of shopped my house. Like this wooden tray I used in my Thanksgiving tablescape. It's from Pier 1. It's like the perfect size for our narrow table. And then we picked out some candle sticks to bring up or some candles to go on these little candle stick holders. These were from Hobby Lobby. I may have used these for Thanksgiving. I cannot remember, but they kind of move around in my decor. I found a couple of my lamb's ear wreaths that I pulled from my decor. I don't have six, but I do have two. So I thought maybe at the head of each end of the table there, we'll see. Some farmhouse beads that I wasn't using. Those are from Hobby Lobby. Some eggs from my, my bin. I pulled my bunny plates. These are originally from Hobby Lobby, but again, I'm just kind of shopping my decor to put together all of the tablescape stuff. A bunch of lamb's ear that I had. I've kind of just used it for random projects here and there, so I thought that lamb's ear would look really pretty in my little bowl there, or tray. I don't even know what you would call that, a bowl? It's a tray bowl. <laughs> These are the plaid plates. They are melamine, so they're perfect for kids, so I just love the pink. I did a lot of decorating with that for spring, so now we have six of those, so that's good. And then this is a table runner. It's hearth and hand. It's kind of like a, it's, I don't, maybe a rose or a blush. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. It's like a mix of terracotta and pink 
all in one. I totally forgot one thing, that is the chargers. My galvanized metal chargers, I use them for Thanksgiving too. So I'm gonna pull those out as well. I just don't know what to do if you go. I've been so selfish and made you believe That you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again Yeah, just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there out pretty cute actually I know the kids will love having these candles lit it'll feel so fancy but just you know very basic um, I wish I had more of those for those place settings but honestly the kids probably wouldn't use them anyways these plates are just fine so we'll just probably use like basic napkins and silverware and call it good but I think it's really cute how it turned out What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain I think I can use our carpet cleaner on the steps It came with all these attachments that I have not used So, yes I mean, I'm sure it's possible I just need to take a couple of minutes and read the directions And figure out how it all works
Andrew just said, that's a lot of steps, Mom, and I have to agree. I cannot sugarcoat this one. That was pretty terrible, pretty terrible. I am glad it, it is done. But I broke a sweat, just going up and down. Are you curious how dirty it is? I know I am. Let's see how dirty it is. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was clean. There it is. Let's do a slow, dirty dump. That is satisfying. I think I deserve to try that bread out after all of that work. Does it taste like bread? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it was actually pretty good. Mm. It's a win. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any big plans for the weekend. Are you cleaning? Are you doing any projects around the house? Are you relaxing? Whatever it is, I hope you have a safe, healthy, and happy Easter. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.